Well balanced, it's fun, but I understand. I, I would have recommended the Mass Effect one, but it's too buggy at this point. Oh my god, there's a Mass Effect. Of course there is. Way. Are yeah, there even, the, do they even talk about ships in Mass Effect? Yeah, there's entire navies for it. I think either you would probably play uh, the aliens or you'd probably play the mercenaries. I'm leaning more towards mercenaries because their shit's like salvaged and jury rigged and has like a whole crap load of guns strapped on it. It's like, yeah, we might die, but we're going to go out shooting shit. Great voice acting, too, for those who are just like, yeah, what do you want? Oh, kill stuff? <laughs> How much you pay? Oh, I think I actually... Oh, hang on. Fort. I think I have to choose which town we start. Fourth, fourth, fourth. Map. That's right, yeah. We'll draw. What's that? You can only do one map. I don't know, there used to be two. Oh, there's like a bunch in this game. Hang on. Um, there's got to be a trick here. big map and everything's connected to it. So I, I used to think they're individual maps, but you can go in between them, so. Build work. a train network. Okay. Initializing my host. should have done this ahead of time. Hmm? Oh, I mean, hosting up a game. Hey, Mr. Gangs, how you doing? It seems I'm not allowed to join you directly through Steam, unless you invite me, I think? Yeah, I, I just gotta finish, I don't know, building the map, initializing servers, reticulating splines, all that kind of shit. Loading worlds, apparently. It can't be any worse than creating a whole new one with a thousand years of history like I heard um, Dwarf Fortress does. Oh, hell yeah, it does, and it's awesome. You can hear us guys in the stream? Could you not hear us? No, there's... What the fuck does that even mean, Fox? <laughs> do, do you not normally hear us? She intuits. The item version is different than the servers. Okay. That's what was wrong? I don't know. It's the worm. World should still be built. During solo streams, you guys are quiet. Wait, but I sound normal now? Wait, we're loud right now? That doesn't make any sense because I have the exact same settings. Always. Watch. I generally have to. I generally have to tinker depending upon what g game. Oh, is Zelf is too loud? I can turn him down. But yeah, no. I. I mean, Zelf sounds good to me. Oh, this game doesn't have shit for volume right now. We haven't got it. You'll start hearing zombies going. Rrr. Yeah. I then you'll hear down. probably a chainsaw at some point. Action. Hey, nice, that's working. Okay, so our spawn location. I forget where we spawned last time. Definitely middle of the house, middle of the suburbs, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Oh, this one has like a cool strip mall. Oh, it was in West Point for sure. Because it had the um, the big school and the police station or whatever the fuck it was. God, raiding yeah, the school for Lennon's wood. Okay. For a moment, I thought you were going to do like the Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> but who heard him? How'd they hear him? <laughs> Whatever. Let's just click random till we get something cool. a way to do this though. I just forget what it is. Um I'll just quickly make my character do I just hit random? Oh I get here. Mm. Uh, doctor who's paraplegic PCP no. addict. I mean there you go, that's fun. <laughs> Thirsty smoking hard of hearing burglar. He's also a hiker. <laughs> I don't know about that <laughs> shit. Uh, I mean, thirst ain't too bad. It's annoying. Hmm. Pretty light footy, though. Moderate strength. A sneaky and nimble. Trap? I mean, that all seems alright. Fast reader, I remember being very strong. Huge. If you don't have it, you might as well just go AFK when you start using a book to up your skill. Yeah, foraging and trapping, how useful you figure that is. I don't we know. Didn't use it, we didn't use it last time, and I don't remember seeing any wild game. Unless we're catching, like, street dogs and cats, which is kind of fucked up, but... Hey, my guy's not any good at, like, fighting, though, if I do this. Which is okay. Um... Be nice to have some like carpentry. Look random again. Thin skinned is terrible. It's like the one thing I won't do. Um. this all right park ranger who's unfit it seems pretty bad illiterate oh i can't do illiterate that means you'll never never level up man oh because leveling up is like so important in this game Fuck. Some of this stuff, man. Sure. It's this guy. The Doctor. What about that? Park Ranger seem pretty fun. Please tell me doctorates do not diverge among speciality. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Um... Do you, do you really see a, a future as a dermatologist in the zombie apocalypse? someone in. Not through. I 
have to load title definitions from the disk. I forget if I, like, I feel like uh, it's me, so I have the settings where there's a fair amount of zombies, but I don't remember if I've turned that up or if that's just the base game or anything. Also, I wonder how many people you can have in a, in a game. Well, to invite your friends, press escape, click on invite friends. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's how it was. I'm glad it pops up and tells you that, though. Best if your friend has Project Zomboy closed. Fucking. All right, so you're in Rosewood. Yeah. Or wait, I'm in the one. It's like the you said Rosewood, right? Uh, I think so. Does it have a giant strip mall? Uh, mm, I guess. Yeah, Riverside looks like it's got a. Oh Should no, that's that's the one we went to last. Um, shit. Hang on, Project Zomboid maps. Uh, what Rosewood you said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's Rosewood. That's right, because you made the Rosebud joke. Mm hmm. Yeah, I do remember that. Cool. Well, I'm Anna Smith, and I'm prepared to get rumbling. Cool. I just need to remember exactly how to play. Oh yeah, that's right. There is a. I was pretty sure there was a guide within the game that tells you how to play. Okay. Can it be trusted? Don't run. Good. Moonwalk. Oh, nice. There's all the combat shit and whatever. Perfect. Left shift to run. Combat's right click. Yes, I remember that. Okay. Oh, yeah, and ease the context key. So you can just, okay, just quick open stuff. That's good. Uh, yeah, I'll turn the game up for you guys just in case it's quiet, which it may not be. Bleach? Oh man, character thirst? character creation is rough. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll explain my character real quick while you're doing yours. Uh, I just click random a few times, um, but I'm Arc Ranger, so I have like some outdoorsy stuff, which is cool. Uh, claustrophobic. Oh. Well, that's bad. That's actually a terrible one to have, but that's okay. Means I get panicked indoors, uh, so I have bad accuracy and vision. Um, which, uh, I mean, I guess you would really prefer to be fighting outside than indoors, but whatever. I have a weak so stomach. My dogs are barking something, so I'll be right back. So I get food illnesses pretty quick. Uh, cat's eyes, so I see better at night. Um, I guess this is kind of a good combo then. So, I, like, I can fight outside, and scavenging at night is good. Um, outdoorsman. Gives some skills for outside stuff. Probably foraging. Um, nutritionist means whenever I pick up food, I can see exactly how good it is for me. And I'm feeble. Which means I'm a little weaker. But we'll work on that. Engineer. Okay, books are good. Uh, unfortunately, is that too loud then? It seemed kind of loud. I don't know. Let's, let's turn it down one more. I don't think this game has shit all for music. Uh, magazine's good. Not too loud? Okay, we'll just keep it like this for now. See what happens. There's, like, fuck all audio in this game. Uh, jacket's nice. I'm probably not wearing proper clothing. So you can see, actually, if we look at it, uh, there's an insulation value on all your clothes. Uh, that helps when winter happens. Stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put this as our primary. It also gives us a little more protection. Uh, actually, we can double up, which is nice. 
Um, proper pants instead of a skirt. Well, did I equip his primary or? And did I wear that? Yeah, I think I equipped it, sorry. There we go. I've got a nice jacket on. Got some pants. We've got some excellent model clipping that they still haven't fixed after all these years. Don't worry about it. So the big thing about this game, if you don't know Project Zomboid, you're trying to survive. It gets bad really fast. Um, lots of random events happen. Zombies move all over. The cool thing is, though, the map is persistent. Occasionally, zombies will come in from off map. Uh, but the zombies on the map are on the map. You can see there's one way down the street here. Um, it, it, it's just really interesting. There's something very fun about exploring the city. And you can, if you like painstakingly clear part of the, the world out, just get rid of them. You can just straight up get rid of them, which is awesome. Um, Ooh, this is terrible. What's your character look like? Oh, I came back and hit uh, random for the traits. I'm a pacifist. I'm unlucky. I have a weak stomach. I'm cowardly. I'm a slow reader. I'm a Sunday driver. <laughs> but, but apparently I'm very fit. I'm organized and I'm a hunter. Hey. Wait. That's not bad. None of these things fit together. Yeah, I, I'll give you that. Make Rando number two. Smoker, hard drinker, leery eye. Hmm. What are my strengths here? I'm a farmer. <laughs> I think you have to take this out of... No, you don't take it out of the package. Right? Hold on. Uh, so, fun thing in this game, zombies are mostly attracted to um, sounds, then smell, and then sight. They can see, but they're not like uh, amazing at seeing. Oh, ahead. my optic. Yeah. Eat this whole TV dinner. Yes. Uh, funny you mentioned that, Yanks. So in this game, everything starts with power and water. Eventually, the power and the water run out. Um, and you don't know when that's going to happen. And you really have to take advantage of that, because once the running water stops, you are fucked if you don't have a source of water at that point. The thing, too, is you only have so much uh, weight you can carry. You go overweight, and then you start suffering pain. Because this is the beginning of the apocalypse. Um, you start dealing with some nasty stuff later on. Saucepan, excellent. So you think, you'd think something like this, like, oh, I want to grab all this food. We're probably actually just going to end up leaving all this food here and scavenging around until we find a bag. Um, but I, I like to collect everything and then put it... For example, in the refrigerator, the refrigerator, as long as the power is running, will keep my food, um, you know, in, in, in good uh, condition. Hey, uh, Raffle, are you going to be doing much farming, do you? We could. We, we started we getting into that, that, that right mod. as we like, we stopped playing last time. Yeah, we got the, the Hydrograph mod, so we, we can actually do some pretty cool stuff, apparently. I haven't done it myself. Well... I have not tried this before, but I think we're going to build a character more around food gathering and cultivating. Okay. With a little bit of comp. You think you can carry me? Yeah, go for it, man. Excellent. Brace your shoulders. I was our uh, I was our builder last time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I felt bad about our last time. I was like, I'm going to be a mechanic and an electrician. We're going to build the best defenses. Um, yeah, you're, you're not going to have any book, but I'm trained, right? Nah. You just, uh, you just kind of don't do shit for the rest of the round. Okay. Uh, no, our other playthrough technically exists, Fox. But it, it's been so long, like, I forgot what we were doing and all that shit. It's... Um, so, it, this game's really clever in kind of the way how it handles a very basic inventory system. I have a weight limit of currently 11. I, I think I can carry a little more because I have the well-fed buff. Once that goes away, I think I go down to 9 because I'm feeble. Um, bags can be equipped. Sometimes you wear them on the back. Sometimes you hold them like in your hands or whatever. You can put one in your offhand. Uh, but bags have a certain amount of capacity themselves. 
and they just reduce the weight of something by a certain amount, uh, which I think is just sort of an, an interesting way of doing that. Um, but sort of general thing, keep all the lights off as you go around, close all the doors, get sheets and use them to cover windows of places you'd like. Um, butter knives are actually a pretty good weapon. Uh, if you... There's, like, special attacks with weapons. Some of them are context-based. Some you have to, like, be in the perfect spot to do. Butter knife has a special attack that one-shots zombies. Um, but it, like, instantly breaks after using it. And the cool thing is, zombies... You know, if they don't know where you are, we'll go to where they heard you last. Which is a, a neat thing. Uh, books also are interesting in this game. Um, you read books and it takes freaking ages. But they... Um, they, they just double your experience gain for what you've read. It's, it's neat. I'll, I'll show you what I mean when we go to actually read books, but thankfully we found a sheet now. Th start thinking about defending somewhere. Hey there, friendo. Okay, so he... He saw me. He's going to try and break in here eventually. Uh, another fun thing you can do. I, I say fun. You should almost never do this. But you can turn the oven on and leave it running. And um, eventually burn a house down if there's power, which is hilarious. Uh, but fire spreads in this game, and you could you could lose half the city by doing that if you're not careful. We'll probably end up going somewhere like in the wilderness, I reckon. Man, it's so rough trying to balance out shitty traits with good ones. Mm. The fun thing about Zelfus and I right now is... Yeah, nine's my capacity. We don't know where each other are. The city's huge, there is no map. You either know it or you don't. Uh, and we, of course, do not. <laughs> um, wow, this place is actually great. I'm going to have to remember here. So I'm going to drop all my stuff off. Um, here. Because this is a, a really good little garage. It's got a ton of stuff in it that we're going to want eventually. So I want to have access to those down the road. Yeah, a ton of good stuff. In case we never make it back out here, um, for reasons, I'm going to take the screwdriver. Uh, I remember needing the screwdriver for stuff and not having it. And crying a little bit. I really need to find a bag or a backpack. No crowbar or... breaks my heart. So I'm going to take one of the sheets with me. So whereabouts are you? I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of a single negative point. A single? Which, which negative point are we trying to get rid of? Well, I have... 12 good points, I've got 11 bad points. I need one more point to ballot out to a zero so I can actually create my character. But I'm not digging a lot of what these other options. I was like, oh yeah, you could take this, but you're gonna suck. Yeah, the points are really rough. This game is very much not your friend in that regard. Alright, I'm gonna take a hit to get asthmatic. Okay. I think if but you take something we're like... We're fast reader, fast reader, gardener, and the cook. 
so I'm handling all the food and water. That seems good, yeah. I've got like four. And I'm John shit. Martin. John Martin, I like. I think I'm Anna Smith. Yeah, 27 year old female park ranger, all American badass. I'm a farmer who was in town to pick up some seed when all hell broke loose. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm 27, male, height, 80. Okay. Uh, like 80 centimeters, I guess? <laughs> Just this angry midget running all the pitchfork. Okay. Close that tab. I'm in a house. I've already attracted some attention. Why is my front door open? Oh shit, how do I... Is it E? Spacebar. Uh, how do I close the door? Yeah, and hold E to do the other context for things. Oh, there's already dead people in my house. That's not good. Now, fights like this are really risky. Because um, if the zombie sneaks up behind you, you just straight up don't see it coming. This game is cool. You only have... Um, I don't even think you have 180 degree vision. It's something close to it anyway. You can also stomp enemies to not damage your weapons. And that's how you know when a kill happens, when you see the blood smash everywhere. I hear one behind me. Stay down, Becky. Oh, yeah. Feels good. I would love to be a park ranger in real life. It'd be super fun. But earbuds could be good. Seems like a useful thing. Uh, and nine times out of ten, zombies will not have anything useful on them. You shouldn't wear their dirty clothes. Although, you, you can later on clean clothes. So the big question is, why did I waste all that time killing those zombies? Uh, first off, this this part of town is now a little, little safer for it, although in the grand scheme of things, uh, nine zombies is not, not a, a lot. <laughs> but um, it, it does make it a lot safer if I accidentally attract zombies later uh, running down in the street, or more holy shit dude, I found a generator. Nice. Um, I was going to say, m much more importantly, is the zombies will keep chasing after me. And that's just something we can't have. If the zombies were to chase after me, and I lose sight of them, and they think I've gone into a building, especially a building that I've put stuff in I want to keep, They'll just destroy it. Cause they're bastards like that. Uh, random question, but did you kill a whole shitload of zombies in the middle of the street? Yeah. They might be near me. Like two, three, four, five, six, um, like eight nine. of them? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah? Uh, so don't, don't move dead, from there. <laughs> How do you still... Oh, I see you. Hey. Hey, what's up? Uh, so stealthing in the sky. Oh, I hope that was you sneaking up behind me. Yep, it's me. Grab the generator. Oh, I have to carry it. Well, <laughs> my hands are full of a bunch of other crap. Generator, connect it, take. So, yeah. By the way, you don't... Uh, I don't suppose you've got... Um, it, something to stop my bleeding. I apparently got nicked somehow. Uh, yes, I can do that when we get back. And don't run with the generator, because you'll strain your back, and then you're fucked for several days. 
So right now, like, I don't have a, a place in mind just yet. But right down here is where I've been storing everything. All right, so the little place. unassuming house. How do I place it? Um, right click in your inventory, probably. check you yeah you do have a scratch for him yeah i had to uh get out of my house real quick apparently i spawned in with zombie so i had to jump out a window that was already broken cool um yeah that was no fun let me tell you <laughs> yeah it's not great uh just want to remind you even a scratch could potentially you know be be lethal Um, uh, cause, I mean, anything can make you bleed out and you start taking damage, but eventually you, um, like, like, you always have a chance of getting an infection. A bite is, I think a, a bite's not like 100%, but I think it's something like 25% chance. So. And then once we find the house we want to actually secure, or head out, or whatever, we can come back here and grab all this crap. Bigger. There are a lot of zombies banging around in the house next door, so I'm gonna check it out. Yep, so I won one house up. Oh. It's, yeah. I, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, I'm not fighting those. Butter knife broke. Like, mid stab. Alright, how do you fight? So, hold the uh, right mouse. Ah, uh, we go up to our ready stance. Got it. Yeah. Alright, I'm ready. And then watch your stamina. Oh, one of them clipped through the door! Back, beast! <laughs> A little thirsty. Goddamn houses that are all locked up. Oh, nice. They locked every door and window but the front one. You know that is. It is horrifying when they take 30, 40 hits from a frying pan. It's like, yeah, we just don't care. <laughs> All right. Well, it's like in real life, like, you have to hit the head, you know? And realistically, you don't want to get close enough to hit the head because the arms are in front of the head and stuff, so I could see it. Maybe I should have gone with a veteran who's completely numb, just like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's pretty tough. Alright, I've actually cleared out this other house, so that's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take these curtains. I mean, this house isn't terrible. Any any house of the second floor is, in my opinion, it's it's a possibility. It's something you can defend. You don't want a single-story house. Oh, one house over, they've got some pretty good options. Uh, the reason why a two-story house is great is you can defend the shit out of the bottom floor and then use your, your top floor for all the, uh, you know, the, the escape plans and stuff. And then you can also make little sheet ropes and hang them out of the second-story buildings or uh, second-story windows. Or if, if you're a little turd, you can just straight up jump out and risk it, take some damage. But a lot of times that's preferable to getting munched. All right, found a sheet. Found a gun, motherfucker! All right, that pretty much trumps what I found. <laughs> I don't know if it has any ammo in it. It does not. Oh, well. But, uh, that's okay. Just remember, like, turn off all the lights as you go through a house. Just in case you ever have to go through that again. You know? Well, I think, yeah, one of these, these two-story houses nearby. Pretty good. Okay, we'll just eat this zucchini. It's orange. 
Candy cane, nice. Oh, thank God, I finally found a bag. Not great. So you can see a plastic bag can hold a weight of 8, but it reduces everything in it by 30%. So that's something. Forks, empty mugs. I already have a can opener. I'll take some canned peat. Alt. Oh, a garbage bag. Reduces weight by 10%. But, uh, not amazing. I hear a linky... Uh, a linky... Uh, a leak faucet. Let's throw a plastic bag in our, our offhand here. Cool. And... We're not going to put any of this in it just yet. I wonder if you can shutter the... Like, like there's there's like a garage um, door. It doesn't look like you can actually shutter it closed, unfortunately. So I'm assuming if someone says, hmm, this book is obsolete, I already know that I can just stop doing anything with this. Yeah, so basically, um, if you read a, a book with a lower skill level than you have, you, you just don't need to, so your character... Like, it, like it's um, not good enough. All right. For example, I'm going to grab um, this too. So, like, you don't need cooking for beginners. I could read it. Nope. Uh, I'm not going to read it, mind you, because you, you already do cooking. But this book here, First Aid for Beginners, um, could be huge. It'll give you an XP multiplier between level 1 and 2. So if you look at your skills, um, which is a big old list, and I go down and I look at my first aid, I can see I have zero. Wow, I have 1.25 XP in first aid as I put a bandage on you. Um, but this book is basically just going to like rest XP from World of Warcraft. It just It's going to fill up a separate bar underneath. And for every page I've read, it'll give me double XP basically, for those actions when I take them. So if you know you're going to be, like, fishing, read a fishing book um, before you go, anyway. I'm going to read up on first aid because... That's rather important. important. Yeah, like, that's something we'll be using. So I'm, I have one point in carpentry, so, like, it's something I can do. Um, the other cool thing, too, is the more points you start with something, the faster you level it up. This shit does take forever? Yeah. It's what you're supposed to do the past time in the game. Um, but so, so the cool thing is, I mean, trapping and, and foraging, in my opinion, probably not going to be useful at all. But you never know, they might be. Um, but if there is a skill you want to be good at, starting with a point in it, means you'll get just straight up 75% more experience anytime you take an action with that, because these take a long time to level up. Uh, so. Yeah, look at that. A little doot doot doot. I had a 0.3 multiplier from reading this book. I'm not going to keep reading this, but uh, it's something that we can carry with us, and whenever we have a break, we just read a little more. So just make sure you always remember where that, that one garage was. Maybe we'll clear this neighborhood out and this is where we stay. I know there's the strip mall. Hello. There's the strip mall. Here. There's a fucker trying to get in here, eh? Yep, I hear it, but I'm keeping an eye off in that direction. Like, don't. Alright. Really want to finish this book on foraging. It's going to be huge for us. Oh, nice. I can already, like, I'm a pretty good forager, to be honest. Oh, oh shit! <gasps> there's, there's guys in here. Map of 
March Ridge. And some 40 Smith and Weston full metal jacket rounds. Sure. Sounds good. How many exactly? Four. If you ever find one of those. Guns in this game are pretty much a death sentence. Uh, you, you fire one off and... Not the entire town knows. It depends on the weapon, but... Let's just say Most it, of the town enough. Will <laughs> yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff happens there. I like this little, a lug wrench and a tent peg. Here, grab those. Cute little closet over here. Uh, piano. You gone upstairs? Nope. Still in the kitchen reading this book. It's riveting. I almost wonder about, like, imagine, like, building a walkway between these two houses. That could be sick. That would be a pretty sweet little... Hey, a video game. A CD and a magazine. Drinking that toilet wine. Absolutely. I love how you're just hearing a guy, like, destroying the wall, and you're just like, yeah, it's fine. Not, I hear the wall though. being destroyed, and I hear slurping from upstairs, and then vomiting, and then more slurping, and crying. It's just, like, I don't want to go up there. I'm going to stay in my... Oh. I'm going to tune this nightmare out one page at a time. On a Ruger 14 mini magazine. Hmm. It's got 14 shots in it. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You just start throwing them at him. Bath towels uh, are actually useful in this game. Um, because if it, if it starts raining, your character gets wet, and then they start getting miserable. Uh, and I think you can also get sick. Which is, of course, super bad. <laughs> so... Actually, that's something we want. Um, we have, like, a, a, a bathtub with, uh, like, a shower in it. Like, a, I forget what that's called. We want to set it up so we just like um when we redo the bathroom we're just gonna have just a shower. Is fuck that noise. That's a while from now, <laughs> you know. Other little projects to work on first. So I'm not gonna be on tomorrow because I'll be doing the Montreal shtick. So, go get my tattoo, be back for like 3 a.m. Sunday morning. You might see me then, but probably not. So, curtains. Um, curtains let you, well, they're sheets, but they let you do this. All right, so say uh, I'm... Coming upstairs. That, that window's locked. So let's say we're in this house. We can see out here pretty far. Right? The light helps with that. Zombies can also see in houses. What you do is you just add a sheet to the window. Close the sheet. Bada boom. So they're one of the most useful things when it comes to actually defending a house. Because you have to curtain every window so zombies don't see in. You have to curtain the door so they can't see through the glass if the, the door has glass on it. You can also use them to rip up to make bandages, which is good. And also, um, you can make uh, little ropes out of them, which is... Are you still in this house? No, oh, I cleared the top. So where'd you go? Uh, I'm just in our little garage, filling uh -huh. it full of... Got some hairspray if your character knows engineering. Might be able to do something with that. Also, there's only so much food on the map, so you have to... Like, food will eventually run out, water's gonna run out, and um, power. So you really have to teach yourself and, and figure out a way of being self-sufficient by the time those shut off. Which you don't know when that's gonna happen. So. Not sure if that'll help you, but hey. I'll just the book forging for beginner oh no i'm 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 too advanced for that sorry 
Well, we can use it for kindling. I know, I mean, you can read it, but yeah, my Already mind. did. Oh, shit. Yep, that was what I was reading through. No, my character. Well, you told me, like, I'm a pretty good forge. I'm like, well, I'm already halfway through. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, well I'm uh, finish this, but... two points in forging, trapping, one in carpentry. That's what I do. I'm feeble. But if you get a point in strength, I think you get rid of your feebleness. Oh. Level oh. up the pan. I need to, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I just gotta get my strength up, which will take forever, but... Wrapping's a late game skill? Dunno, I've never seen it used. It does First sound time like for everything. I have fished, so I know that works. Now, the other thing about this game is, uh, again, this is a long-term survival game. Um... It, you don't get a lot of immediate benefit of stuff unless you look for it. So not only do you have to gain enough experience by doing actions like carpentry, building things, and tearing things down, right? That's carpentry. So you have to do enough of that to get this to level 2. You have to level your character up to get a point to spend in something. Uh, and that's usually by surviving days and killing zombies and stuff like that. So I, I think we just keep clearing out the neighborhood and try and find a house. Worth, um, worth living in. And I like to save on weapons and just uh, push people over and stomp them to death. If I can. I love the ambience in this game. Like, it just really feels like, oof, things are happening right now. See if anything's playing on the TV. Nice! Life and Living still has stuff playing. This does look like any normal kitchen knife. Well, if you thought I was right, I was wrong! <laughs> nice. The kitchen knife by Kitten. Jeez. Gotta get me one of those. Cabbage seeds coffee, hell yeah. Just eat that coffee straight. Fry pan's actually pretty good for a weapon. Leave the saucepan behind. Hmm, canned bolognese. Oh, a lighter, thank god, those are useful. Just change the channel. In here. Hello? Hmm? Did you change the channel in here? Nope. I'm out by the garage. Oh. The zombie did it. Yeah, maybe. Hey, oh, channel! Sketchy. Zombies, the as they are in death, remember things in life like their hatred for the weather channel. Turn the TV off then. Remember, kids, uh. If you want to cook something faster, you just turn the, the heat up. That's fine. That's exactly how that works, I think. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You get depressed when you eat TV dinners. Oh. If you get too depressed in this game, your character just straight up kills themselves. But it's actually pretty hard to reach that. It's, it's a bit of dose of realism in there. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty pretty hard for your character to get that depressed, though. Um, but if you're like if you have a character that looks like like smoking or alcoholism or something like that, and you don't give into it, and then you do things like eating like you know deep fried rats and whatever, yeah, eventually they just uh, that's enough for me. Thanks. I'm gonna jump. Why does it look like the light's on? Oh, it's this fucking lamp. Shitter. Master metalworking. We'll never reach that. I 
I don't even think it's worth like taking, but fuck it, right? Maybe. I just keep hearing like this zombie just being a little shitter somewhere off in the distance. So we need to find A, like a house that we want to hold up in. Um, and B, potentially more importantly, something like um, a school or a mirror. What the fuck? But, like, we need to find something that we can, like, get some backpacks in or something like that. You know, like some duffel bags. We need to find a sports goods store. We need something, something to endure. that noise just the wind that was pretty cool actually good sound design once in a game really makes it yeah so I'll, I'll keep the water bottle just in case Shoots rap as fuck. So I think because we already have like too much shit. Well, that's full. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go down the road and just start looking. There's just gotta be something. Find. I mean, there is that strip mall. Oh, hello, some zombies. Now, zombies Whoa. will just, like, randomly move around the town, too. Um, but usually just, like, a couple at a time. Uh. I mean, they're all constantly moving in a second. Fuck me. I accidentally turned myself around. Yeah. This game has, like, a jank-ass auto-targeting system. Which is fine. As long as I'm just scratched, we're okay. All right, back to exploring. All my sheets. So when you have something like this, um, it'd be good to disinfect it if you could. I don't have anything to disinfect it. Uh, this bandage will eventually also get dirty and you have to replace it and put a new one on. And when you're in pain, um, you know, you get a little bit less accurate, blah, blah, blah. Stuff happens. What is that? You hear that, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I never turned that oven off. Let's go, uh, let's go do that. Cigarettes, hell yeah. I don't think my character's a smoker, so I probably actually shouldn't take the cigarettes. If you are a smoker, I don't think there's any way of growing tobacco or anything like that, so I think you're just SOL for time. Only the finest fresh grown zombie Kentucky weed grass. <laughs> I will leave the walkie talkie. There are a lot of like cool mechanics in this game, like for example, the um, 
there, there's um like if you talk here in chat like over the text like zombies nearby will hear you but only characters that are close enough to hear you will hear you and you can yell which makes it Feel more advised. likely yeah it's really neat i like that empty gas can yes a sack okay Got metal and wire though. Metal sheet in here, which I probably not take. Welding mask. Man, there's some super cool shit in here. Um. Yeah, I'll leave the light on. So maybe we remember them. The other shitty thing too is you can push people through the walls so you can't hit them. They don't they don't technically count on that side of the wall. Why was this fucking lady running around with a Mac 10? And a school bag. Yes! Oh now we're talking. A Mac 10 and a school bag. Oof. Uh I don't know what she was up to before the apocalypse, but I'm sure it was not good. Off this door, lady. Okay, well that changes everything. Once you get yourself a school bag, things are good. And a pencil. It's in the school bag. Hey Eric, you did a disinfectant. Sorry, you found some disinfectant? Mm-hmm. And some cotton swabs. Nice. Also, if you don't um, constantly remove your uh, bloody bandages and put new ones on until it goes away, it's fine, but there is more of a chance that you get uh, an infection. <clears throat> now, how do you know when you have an infection, you might ask? Uh, you don't know until you get sick. But you can get sick from other things. So, you just kind of get sick in this game, and then you start panicking. You're like... Oh, is this the infection? Am I gonna die? Maybe. It could just be a coincidence. We don't know. This is Mac 10 rocking right now. Zero to 30. Fuck. Also, the ranged weapons in this game are like super inaccurate, unless, unless you're good at them. But you probably will never really get to be good at. This one's for all y'all? Oh, there's a radio on. Take your battery, thanks. Gardening spray can, that seems kind of useful. This is a fancy frickin' house, actually. Oh, but I was gonna say, so like the walkie-talkie you can get allows you to not only voice chat, but also text chat to anyone else holding a walkie-talkie on the same frequency. So it's kind of cool. I like that. Also forgot this was not my initial plan. I was supposed to be looking for a. Uh... Well, I found a backpack, so it worked out, I guess. A hey, key. You can throw keys on your key ring. Uh, sometimes they will let you get into some fun stuff. Sometimes. Found a fishing magazine. Uh, makes a rod and a lure. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, and I should mention there is no cure to the infection. You get infected, it's it's GG. 
But of course you won't know for a couple days. So, oh, someone broke into this house. <laughs> There's like a fucking FedEx package in the front. It's fun. Even the zombie apocalypse FedEx is still trying to deliver. Well, no, it just got there today. That's the problem. Tote bag. It's a pretty good weight reduction, actually. As long as you have something like a digital watch, you can actually see what time it is, which is cool. That. Just a fun little thing. The, the old-fashioned look out the window. How light is oh, yeah. <laughs> A bunch of planks here. Could potentially... Become an angry carpenter. Mm. Like look into, yeah, boarding up a house and... Now, is it possible to actually build an entire house? Yeah, totally. Because I was thinking, we have a lot of, like, foraging and stuff. We could just fuck off into the wilderness and build. You can actually, um, if you get an axe, or... That's why I, I have this mod uh, that allows you to craft an axe. Because if you don't have an axe, there's no way to get an axe except by being really lucky. But with an axe, we could, um... Just cut down trees and you know, do cool I'm up stuff. for this. Yeah. Okay, well in that case we probably want to find somewhere out there with like a lar like maybe like a farmhouse would be good. You know, maybe if we could find like a farmhouse. I'm already I'm, I already have a pretty heavy load right now. Um Oh yeah, it begins. Cabbage seeds, buddy. Oh nice, yeah, I have I have some seeds as well. So like this could be something we do. Like sooner than later. Nice. Okay. I think we definitely want to get some flour. Do some long term cooking. Peas, peanut butter, rice, yep. It's gonna put me at the weight capacity that I would like, which is too goddamn much. It's okay, we can power walk our way out of here. Can't take these. Okay, I'm gonna risk it all and take this doorknob and, and hinge with me, even though I'm like super over capacity. I think you need that to build a door. Hang on. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, cool. I could use some wire to make a cage trap. Well, that's neat. Question is, do zombies get caught in these things, too? I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. I remember now. There's a, there's a special menu. Oh, which fucking... Yeah, this one. There's a special menu for actually building structures. I think you have to have a hammer. Out. Carpentry, there you go, door. You need two door hinges, okay. I gotta hustle my way back. Celsius outside in game. It's, you know, it's a little chilly. I'm fine with it, but.
Hey, what's up? Uh, do you need food? No, no, I'm alright for now. Munch some fruit. <laughs> Just loudly eating beside me. Or then I'll also, uh, do you need a screwdriver? Uh, no. Do you need a hammer? Not right now, I don't know. Okay. I'll, uh, I a shitload of bed sheets, so let's go ahead and transfer the, put those over. Nice. We're filling up, actually, a lot of this shit. Which is fine. All right, yeah, we're we're stacked up. Sweet. So the trash cans we were putting on. Oh, I I don't have a plan yet. Oh no. Fucking upper torso injury got infected. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, before you go anywhere, take this. Bottle of disinfectant right there on the ground. Okay, yeah, all right. That definitely helps. Hopefully, it's not an infection. Infection. It's just like a two bath towels. You can turn into uh, bandages and also cotton balls right there. Just sweet. I'm really hoping it's just normal, <laughs> normal uh, infection. Whatever. I know. All right, so all the houses except the last one on the left, I've cleared. Oh, really? Nice. Uh, well, um, I'm just going to go look for shit then. I'll clear up that last house. Also, hate how in this game you can't run up and left. You can run every other, like, combination of directions except up and left. That's weird, eh? You can walk up and left, you just can't run it. Oh, this game has full friendly fire, by the way. That's why I'm backing away yeah. and giving it room. That's a fun thing. This guy has a digital watch on him, dude. You should loot that. Yeah, I don't want to get infected. I'm good. You don't want to know what time it is? It's hammer time. Also, it seems a bit tame for zombies. A, we haven't made any noise yet because it's early on. And B, uh, just wait till an event happens. Like the helicopter. How about no? There will be like an event like, oh, uh, helicopter happened. And over, Shooting down. Or like a siren or like a gunshot nearby. Because there's another survivor out there. And then it just goes bad. Wallet. I've never seen one of those. They're not very useful. You have stolen the man's wall. Nice. More cabbage Whoa. seeds. Nice. Carrot seeds. Hey, that's okay. That's good. We like those. Also, holy shit, Raffle. Were you in this building? Uh, probably not, no. It's been partially disassembled. Oh, the, yeah, that was probably a zombie just running through, just being an asshole. Planks on the ground, hinges on the ground. Found a Glock with a single round. Someone didn't get to their last resort in time. Yeah. Or, um, 
they you know they looked at it and they're like well only one shot left and they aim it at their uh their head but they don't realize like there's one in the chamber how long till i should fair. start doing six months later using mods oh man i mean if you feel good at the game you do you buddy you know um it's here's the thing that the, the Mods just jump right in, but don't. I just grab Hydrocraft. It honestly, it doesn't feel like overwhelming because it adds a bunch of stuff, but it's all crafting shit, so you're not gonna get to it for a bit anyway. So I think that that kind of like works. It comes at a nice pace. Six months later is is just really rough. Um, I would recommend playing a House game. House is clear. Oh, sorry playing a game and then not drinking or eating if that makes sense like try not to drink or eat and see if you could survive a six months later before you you actually attempt one is it that's that's tough I, like i don't even necessarily enjoy that Although I will say in multiplayer, like time goes a lot slower because you don't actually sleep. So it makes it a little easier. So maybe we'll have to look into that at some point. Is that you making damn noise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the sheet ripping. Okay, That's yeah. Me. I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> You've already cleared this house? Yeah. Yeah, we need to find some wilderness we can get off to. And go grab all our shit and take it there. We said a farmhouse would be perfect, but I don't know if... Oh, so you're going a little robot on me there, bud. Oh, sorry. Uh, like I was saying, a farmhouse would be perfect, but I don't know. Do we have the carpentry levels to build a proper house? Um, you might. Hey, quick question. Did you check this garage over here? I think I did, yeah. You need carpentry too to start building frames. So if you have carpentry too, then yeah, we're good. How Damn do me. I check that, by the way? Um, hang on, let me just kill the zombie real quick. So click on the... The heart. And then skills. Alright, I've got two little arrow icons that are trying to tell me I can upgrade trapping and foraging. I think. Oh, that just means like you, um. You level them up quicker. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, well, that explains it. Multiplier 3, multiplier 3. That's nice. But uh, to answer your question, Raffle, the only things I have are a little bit into blunt accuracy, blunt maintenance, cooking, and farming. My boy's useless. Oh, you don't have carpentry? Not an angry carpenter. Oh, I thought you took carpentry. My bad. Oh, shit, it's a fast one. <laughs> Yeah, so books are a little bit confusing. and Unfortunately, you just missed me uh, explaining how they work. So, when you you read a book, um, it, it gives you a multiplier that will last until you get these two levels, basically, or the two that the book give, which is excellent. Um, unfortunately, Fortunately, like it, it's a little bit fucky. Like as you read it, it starts giving an effect. Um, it, it's just like a yeah. The books in this game are just weird, <clears throat> but they work. Wow, how did we miss? I thought this was our place or something because I saw the generator. Um, and then I think. Do you know how leveling up works? Because that's also weird. Like getting a level in something doesn't actually mean you've leveled it up. You've just increased it to the point where you could level it up if you um, 
as you, you level up here, you'll get another skill point. You level up by surviving and killing zombies. So. It looks like my infection's cleared up. It was a very unlucky hit, unfortunately, but it happens. Oh, oh, this is some shit right out of Resident Evil. They just broke through the glass. <laughs> nice. I actually prefer that. Oh my god, it's a swarm! That first map. Route. Swing, little man! Swing for all your worth! Hey, right? Uh, ask me again in five minutes. Oh, the pan broke. Oh, fuck. Uh, you're Ow, oh. Alright, I'm on my way. I just gotta drop all my shit off. Get away from the window, you ass! I need to leave! <laughs> Just give them like these little hard shoves, like just stop. Okay, time to. So I have enough hammers. We could we can do some. I've got a Glock shot, so I can get their attention. No, no, no! I escaped. I'm, I'm back in the street, running for it. Yeah, but now they're gonna be looking for you. To hell with them. They're hungry for blue. Very my pan. I can't have any more, man. <laughs> Well, they they are chasing me. How fascinating! Oh, I I told you, man. They're shits. They're little shits. Oh, oh, I might be screwed. No, you're fine. You, no, no, no. The auto targeting was like, do you want to look behind you? No, no I want to yeah. take the guy that's trying to kill. Believe me, I've had fun with auto targeting. Okay, let me get on over there. It's all right. I killed them both, but now I have to wonder how badly I'm wounded. Wait, there's only two of them. Wait, well, there were four, but I killed the other two before the pan decided to fly off the handle. You far top left? Uh, yeah, I'm running up the street now. Exertion, peckish. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting a bit peckish, yeah, but it's, it's fine. Hey. Let's go find some somewhere, man. Oh, nice. Good crunch. Hey, man, canned corn. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> Go to this, this shitty suburb, find somewhere good. Also, to live. you have first aid, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm bleeding a little bit. Could you do oh, me yeah. a favor? Oh, wait, can I bandage? Oh, I can bandage myself. Yeah, yeah I, I would. Be good. I'm gonna round them up and we'll just, we'll just fuck these guys up. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Oh! Was I'll that you or? Yeah, they're gonna be coming now. Oh, nice. We found a big old parking lot. Good. We'll clear this place out then. We got uh, maybe a big old stronghold afterwards. Maybe. Consider yourself proficient at the combat in this game. So I, uh, I would feel better about it if the damn thing would, you know, not get me <laughs> into violence. I mean, it's like if the game will let me target something evenly, I will not have a problem. Your gunshot has pissed off everybody. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff, yeah. This is, this is how you do it, though, man. Round them all up. Take them out in one big fucking brawl. It's good. Nice. One down. So why is the boost... Uh, strength is the most important stat. Fitness, yeah. Guns, if you want to use guns. Guns are kind of like a dirty, dirty tarp. You know what I mean? 
They're kind of the worst, but also the best weapon. In a perfect situation, guns are the most powerful. You can just destroy people. But you have to have a shitload of you ammo. You may have damaged me, actually. No, I'm not, actually. Uh, the swarm, instead of going towards the gunshot, we're like, you know what would be perfect? Let's duck into this house with no signs of any trouble and just look for this human. Oh, uh, they they saw some trouble. They, <laughs> you know, man, you're fine. Uh, Which house? The one you're going to see me running down the street back towards our place. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm probably going to bleed out and die. Oh, fuck. Nine shades of it. Man, remind me always to make a combat character. It's just so fucking visceral in this game. I love it. It's something with like super ridiculous blunt levels. For the record, that gunshot was a horrid idea. No, this is a great idea. All we gotta do is survive, man. And then we have that entire area we can go check out. Oh, it feels good. Man, which one of you feels like dying? How's my, uh, my hammer going? There's a bunch of dinks, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm thirsty, I'm panicking, I have no food, and I'm being chased by a shitload of people. Thank you for that gunshot, You're Robert. fine. You're fine. A little, little overreaction. Really not. But... Sneak up behind me, how rude. <gasps> oh, how I wish my character was a little better at fighting. In my, in my uh, opinion, blunt combat is where it's at, but that's just because I really enjoy using hammers and baseball bats. Uh, by the way, it's not safe, still. Oh. <laughs> Let you know when that situation improves. This is so asinine, all my weapons are breaking. Yeah, that'll happen. We're getting better at fighting, you know? That's good. Where the horde went by chance? The fuck? Do you have a Haven't microwave put. going on? Nope. Some turn on a fucking microwave. 
This oh. zombie just turned on a fucking microwave. Hey man, when you want popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. right. I I have to assume that's what happened. Oh boy. Might have found the horse. No, we don't have a house yet. I, I like to shop around. I, uh, I alerted a horde by firing off a gunshot because I really wanted to clear this place out quicker. And it works. You, you will attract the whole fucking town doing that. For better or for worse. Uh, in Zelda's case, maybe, maybe for worse. Mm -hmm. He's usually Still not running. prepared for my fights. Because I, I usually say something like, Ah, I'm going to do this, and... Turns out that's not enough time to uh, get the fuck out of dodge. And then they're usually chasing me and I juke around some houses to get some sweet, you know. You don't, got, you don't want to get flanked. And then all of a sudden Zelfus' house is under siege. He's not wrong. Usually how it goes anyway. Yeah, one of the zombies just, I guess by accident, turned the microwave on. That shit's hilarious. Deadly no good zombie loot. I, I like honestly, I heard the microwave go on. I was like, "Did you just come in here?" I think sometimes like just random things like that happen. It's, su it's supposed to be like another survivor had turned it on and then probably got munched. You know what I mean? But whatever. It's fine. Much more door hinges and stuff, which is nice. Someone's just going around town opening all the doors. Uh, breaking them open, but yeah. Oh, that stuff's quite good for actually building a house. Uh, well, yeah, we've killed, killed a fair amount just there. Are you looking? Clean these rags so I can rebandage myself. So which house are you in, by chance? I have no idea. I just fucking booked it. <laughs> Love it. Well, the thing was, the gunshot drew a lot of them out of the houses, so I was going along, and all of a sudden it's like, you have spawned 360-degree enemy rotation. Oh. And then, of course, my pan broke. Second pan broke. <laughs> Running around with a hammer. <laughs> I don't know if this is the game I would uh, watch some stream if I was playing Left 4 Dead Fox. If I was mass paranoia. Well, hunting noise. That's actually super handy. Actually, does this radio have a battery? Yep, yoink. Those are pretty useful. Looking at here, old 
take another hammer. Oh, fishing rod. That's sick. Well, that's like the last thing we need for if we actually want to go out in the country. Try to survive. Yeah, we have way too much shit, which is fine, but we should really look into uh, not having this much shit for the future. <laughs> like, it's going to take us so long to carry all this back and forth, but mm -hmm. it's still good to have. Going fishing. Yeah, boy. No extra levels. Oh, in this game? No, you level really slowly. Depends what you're trying to do. Uh, I can power level carpentry if I'm playing class with stuff like that. But, yeah, like our first aid's there. I mean, we're getting close to leveling up our blunt accuracy and maintenance. Uh, blunt maintenance. Uh, I think this means your weapons, or uh, your blunt weapons degrade slower. You can... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You might be able to repair them a little better, too. And blunt accuracy is just, like... You always connect with someone in this game. It's just how much damage you actually do. So accuracy is, of course, crazy good. Yeah, I don't see any more zombies, dude. I think we're good. I mean, I'm sure that... No, no, here they are. I was gonna say, there was a huge fucking horde at that, uh... That mall thing. There's, like, a parking lot out there. Oh, yeah, there they are. Yeah, it's gonna be ugly. I don't know if you notice how I saw her before she came around the corner there. It's because this game has a, uh, a sight and sound mechanic. It's awesome. I love the fact that you can like, hear them coming. One of the big tricks to attacks in this game. Oh yeah, so pushing zombies, obviously, that doesn't hurt them. You have to either hit them with a weapon, or knock them over and then hit them with- What the fuck? I was just gonna tell you how the, uh, mechanics for attacks work in this game, and then I got hit anyway. So I didn't see the one that did it, so... Use by it. Um, but they only hit you if the animation finishes. Could be I pushed one through the wall and it bugged out. This guy here. I went through the wall there. I could have fucked it up. Nice. To scratch though. Scratches I think only have like a like one or two percent chance of uh, infecting you. Like it's pretty low. So every injury you have, I think lowers your maximum health until it's recovered. And then everyone that's bleeding like drains it, so you have to be a little careful though. I'm not sure if they lower your strength too. Does it look like they do? But my character is very weak, so we have shit all uh, strength. A 
rip this sheet up into some rip sheets. So our water bottles. I hear some angry zombies smacking stuff around. Oh, here he is. Hello. Boy, and equip my hammer. Oops. Still a bunch of these guys out here. Mm -hmm. hmm. I know what a thin a little. This Twitch just reconnected me to the chat. That was interesting. Trying to get their attention. Don't you worry. Dear God, in the distance, you're. <laughs> She's a. Uh... I feel like this gun should be a lot nastier than it is. I fuck all skill in it, so. Works. They're coming. What the fuck? Oh, I, th I guess my watch had an alarm on it. That's awkward. Someone was trying to kill you from <laughs> beyond the grave. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. Oh, stop alarm, you fucker. Wow, that's really funny. It's like this random watch I picked up just had an alarm on it. Classic shit. I love stuff like that. Alright, fuckers, come on. Get your act. Yeah, now we're fine, man. In our previous playthrough, I had like zillions of zombie kills. Now, granted, like I said, one injury could be fatal, because you don't know. But. I usually can handle a horde. A horde's. Uh, and the thing is, if we survive this, which we should. We. Oh, I'm getting tired. I saw my character slowing down there. Um, then, like, this whole area is cleared out. Like, that's it. This, this town is. Well, not this whole town, but this area of town is. Safe. Which is awesome. Oh, that was close. Oh, fuck. Sometimes you get caught in a bad animation. You're like, well, that's, that's the end. But you're alright. Getting so tired from swinging this damn axe around for literally hours and hours and hours. How awesome would be if they had top of the RPP? Well, there's. Yeah, it's funny. There's like tons of. Um, 
like little events that'll just go off that bring zombies in your area. Like, you know, the survivor that set the, um, did the gunshot in the distance, or you have the, like, my favorite, like, that one there, like, where the microwave just randomly went off, and it was like, what the fuck? Why is this microwave going off? Like, that was cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> Dead rat, fresh. Hmm. Well, you're still alive, so I can't really complain. I just leveled something up. That's what that was. I can get my blunt accuracy up. So you have a skill point available, so I can slap that in there. Which we're hella going to, because let's hope we're using a lot of blunt combat right now. heard that little reep. That's usually your character seeing another zombie. So I, I had to back up there just in case my character noticed there's a zombie behind us and I didn't. Oh, is that bad? That was fine. We got hit by an attack, but it didn't actually break the skin. Oh, I might. Yeah, there it is. What? I heard the nibble nibble of a zombie on my... No, I think I ran into one of the ancillary hordes from earlier. I turned a corner and they were just waiting for me. There, there are a lot of them out there right now. Oh, those fucking crawlers! I do not remember crawlers being in the game. That's terrifying. What they Alright, well, I'm gonna try and get back to where we started. That way, when I die, you can grab all my shit. Unless you're infected, you know. All you gotta do is just not bleed out. Now, normally through the night, since you can't see shit, try and uh, read your books. That's how you do it. Uh, of course, I'm still fighting. And, and normally, you actually cannot see shit at all. Like, poor Zelf is probably is, is blind right now. I'm making for a house. That's pretty much all I can do at the yeah. moment. Yeah. My, my character is the cat's eyes trait, so I can see a little better. But normally, nighttime is like pitch black. Unless you have a light, which is great, because zombies also see lights. Like a fucking moth to a flame. This is very ballsy of me, because there's probably a zombie... Is it behind me? Nope, we're fine. And this combat might look simple, but it is very involved, because you have to really, really know how to balance when you're attacking and defending. I think you got a little fighting game going on. Nice, found another school bag. My school bag in my school bag. It's like a test rack. It's beautiful. I probably will level up blunt weapon maintenance, I think. Bag of holding. Yeah. I feel like I should be saving it for first aid or something, but whatever, I'll level up before then. It's better that I don't break all my 10,000 hammers. Yet, anyway. Uh, dear kitchen. Dead mouse, eh? Hmm. Let's 
turn this oven on, shall we? Go ahead and butcher small animal. A hunting knife. A small animal meat. Delicious. Set a timer for, I don't know, 25. Power, power is not out yet, no. It's only been like one in-game day. Power can last from anywhere from like, uh, no. So I think power is anywhere from like three days to two weeks, and water goes out sometime in the first month. Where, like in that, you don't know. It is still on, right? So this guy's cooking. Let's do the cooking bar, though. Let's turn this bad boy up. Five hundo. Timer off. Cook this bad boy. Make me put the small animal meat in the microwave. I'll do it. I don't have a microwave here. Fair enough, we don't either. Oh, I... What the fuck? Oh, I didn't put it in the stove, that's why. Oh, there we go. Whoa, she's heating up. Settings quick. Turn, turn the heat down. Timer, two minute timer. Maybe another two minutes. <laughs> Zombies are just flooding. Let's eat it all. Delicious. Crank it up to 500, forget it. Let's see if this place burns down tomorrow. necklace. I'm not commenting. I'm going to check out that, uh, that like little mall thing that I cleared out. Oh my god. Just, just death and destruction in the streets. Did you ever make it back? Nope, I have been darting from house to house trying to stay one step ahead of the people who are hound the dead who are hounding. I'm gonna stand right in the middle of the street and read my book. Come find me. Oh, the dead just found me. I was oh. gonna say, not a wise choice. Oh, there is still a lot of them, huh? Turns out, those gunshots really drew some attention. You don't say. I do say. <laughs> Already killed 103 zombies. Game says most of my bare hands. Sh not true. It's actually uh, it's actually my hammer. <laughs> but I, I would stomp them once I know. 103 though. God damn. Girl, that's a lot. It's a big number. Now we, uh... Notice zombies are not the brightest fucking things out there. Now, I think there is something like zombies are attracted to corpses, so you don't want to have corpses laying around. But, uh... And hard when there's fucking dead zombies everywhere. And, uh, there are mods where you can, like, cremate them. Uh, I don't actually have that much. The smell of cooking meat brings even more. I feel like, yeah, right? Like, that should also, uh... I gotta say, though, the, the addition of the, the crawly zombies 
That's fucked mm. up. I don't like that. They're they're nasty. There's other zombies you can kind of stun lock and forget about. Oh, there's one. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, those are nasty. God damn. How dare you take away my cheese strats? M1 Garand clip. Two shots left in that. Well, someday we might fire off and hear that delicious ping. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, Riverside. That's not where we are. On a map for something, I got excited. I was like, wait a minute. Vitamins? Yeah, I'll take that zombie vitamins. It'll help fight off this infection. Well, the good news is, all this first aid training I'm putting to work. I'll be a master surgeon by the time this is over for how much I've had to bandage myself. Alright. Yeah, it, it's not going well. I think the only thing on me that's not bloodied is my freaking head. <laughs> well, hide, hide in a room, I'll, I'll come find you. Le leave the lights on. Just follow the dead? Well, there's a, there's a lot of that. Shit, I hit a guy through the wall, now I can't kill him. Come on! Oh yeah, he'll come back. Don't be like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why did the zombies get so pissed off when I started reading here, man? That ain't cool. They're against the literate. Yeah. Is it possible to burn a house down completely? Yep. Because I'm thinking about it. Oh yeah, like, it is. It's also possible to start a fire and the entire city fucking burn down if you're not careful. Hey, that's how you get rid of zombies, man. That's one way. Where are you? Where the fuck are you at, anyway? Oh, more zombies. Uh, they, they're everywhere. That's, that's a good question. And every time I think I've killed all the zombies. No. I don't know how many I fucking triggered, but... I mean, what's the population of this town, right? <laughs> well, they see, that's... That's an interesting thing about zombie survival. Like, any... Any setting for this. I always think to myself... Alright. What's the population of this place? How many do we have to kill before we have a, a distinct area of safety? Yeah. I mean, a few thousand, at least. <laughs> oh no, my fucking hammer. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, hunting knife, I guess. You're up. Wow, I just fucking juke those zombies. That's good. Stompy, stompy. Oh, good news is I do have more. I have, like, a bag of hammers, basically, back at base. So that's... that's fine. Just need to get access to my hammer bag. Hey, Onyx. What's up? What's... Exclamation SR. Exclamation. Search and rescue? Search and rescue, maybe, yeah. It's Alpha's name's fucking search and rescue right now. Which makes me think speed. Probably like a hotkey for some super fucking cool chatbot we don't have. Song request? Oh. 
Yeah, that's fun. What song is it? Hang on, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Spooky Scary Skeletons. It's a good one. That's a classic. Is Living Tombstone still putting out fucking music? So I remember he got like huge for a while and all the like bronies were into him. But um, I don't know, maybe he died. Maybe he said something. Actually, it's funny too, cause like, oh, hey, a BBQ, that's nice. I remember like all, like all the bronies, right? Like that was their thing. They were just like, oh my God, it's the Living Tombstone guy. And then, so he, he got to go to like a concert with one of the actresses from My Little Pony. Don't really know her name, sorry. I don't even know who she played. But I just remember this happening. And then I, like, everyone was like, oh my god, who's like this disgusting guy that's on stage? And it's like, oh. It's kind of <gasps> fucked up, actually. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? It's the world we're living in. Some more keys for the key god. So I, you're probably wondering yourself, what do keys do? Oh shit, how do I get out of this predicament? Well... That key, sounds like a familiar refrain. Keys, uh... Let you open houses. <laughs> and cars sometimes. So it's, it's worth picking all of them up, just in case. Well, yeah, but it, it might not be obvious to be like, because there didn't used to be cars in the game, so a lot of people might be like, oh, hey, this key? It's kind of useless. Why would I pick all these up? So it might let me in a front door, but probably won't. What are the odds I'm going to need to get in the front door of the house it's for? Oh, it just got real foggy. Did it get foggy over where you're at? Mm -hmm. Oh. Fuck! Oh, it got bad. Oh, Jesus. My character is agitated. Yeah, I don't have a jump. hammer, so this is sketchier than it needs to be. But a hammer would be alright. What a shame. Yeah, there didn't used to be cars. There are now. Damn it, Rebecca. You always get so pissed off at all you just kick the door on yourself. Before Magnum full metal jack around there. Eh? It's uh, not gonna get me in trouble later. Oh my god, is it foggy? Shit, yeah, wow, that got a lot worse. A lot worse. I wonder if you run with scissors if you end up... <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Unintended consequences. Like a rope and get out? No, you need two, unfortunately. Um, well, I'm going to hunker down in a, in a house. But now that I have two curtains, I could done. do. Yeah, you should be in a house. What's, what's your house look like? Is it a good one? <laughs> Single story, two bedroom. Terrible house. Green roof. It's fine, I guess. It sucks I broke this goddamn hammer. Um, okay. I don't even think scissors do anything, I'll be honest, actually. Oh, I had hammers in my backpack the whole time. Problem. He's a portable Home Depot. Yeah, <laughs> I just forgot. So. Wow, a 50 round box. Yes. Joke's on us, they're all 22s. No, yeah, that was for the 44, which, I mean, that's pretty dope. Uh, Alright, should be good. <laughs> Ranchero, can you drink bleach? Yep. 
That was one of the first things they put in the game before the game had any fucking features. They were just like, you know what? This game needs to be able to let you drink bleach. Ah, uh, so you can. I think I'm going to start collecting these door hinges in case we want to more door. Ooh. To... Oh, maybe not. It's a silly place. Sugar, pretty good. I heard a zombie. I should probably turn around and just check. And carrots, yeah. Straight up dog food? Hell yeah. Also found a TV dinner. A whole fucking cabbage? Just, mm, put that in my mouth. Problem solved. I'm not sure if you can wire up electricity in this game. You well, know what? We did get the hydrostatic mod, so maybe? True. Project Zombo is just one of those games, you know? It, it hurts me on the inside, because I really like it. But they've just, you know. Oof. It's a roller coaster of emotions with this goddamn game. <laughs> What are we looking at? All our bandages are fine. I don't seem to be infected yet. We're at 135 zombie kills. Not bad. Not, oh, new hammer. Getting my fucking backpack, you little shit. I think I'm good on collecting cigarettes. I'll probably pass. A metal bar? Never seen one of those. Don't know what you use it for. Very good, though. Moderate exertion. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say it again. I think we killed all the zombies. Anything's possible, man. Oh no. Oh no, we didn't. There's a lot right there. Okay. What do we want to drop off, game? Well. Could always do. Well, this is barbed wire. It's fun. I wonder if you can. Just put it on the ground here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our school bag, set it on the ground too, lighten the load. If we do that, we'll uh. Not be exerting us so much, so we can get into some combat here. The fog. Can I rest on this. Uh, yeah. That'll do. Wow, they they really sneak up on you in this weather, man. Just careful. Right, just stay indoors. It's my plan. Oh, hiking bag. Fuck yes. These are actually so good. They have a higher... They have 70% reduction. Wait, which is crazy. They only weigh 0.5 themselves. And you can put them on your back, or, more importantly, you can carry them in your hand. I would just pick it up. Yeah. I don't really know how that works, like you put a 50 pound bag of cement in, in your backpack and suddenly it only weighs like, you know, less than 10 pounds. I'm not sure that's right. 
Hold on, I've got to run the numbers. I will say, that's what backpacks feel like, though. And that's one thing I actually... I get triggered over a lot of things, but... I fucking get triggered. There's, like, this huge, like, stigmatism now with backpacks. Like, everyone's like, you can't bring your backpack into our store. And it's like... Why? Fuck you, buddy. I don't have a purse. You know? Yeah, I just... Oh, wow, there's so many zombies, dude. Uh, the gunshots did a bad. I'm glad you can recognize that. I don't feel bad about it, you know. Why well, don't you don't? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I will admit it was a mistake. Uh, but it, one we had to make, probably. We, we just took a shortcut to the end game, that's all. <laughs> He's often used back. Yeah, no, I understand. Like people steal stuff in backpacks, totally. But like, yeah. fuck off. You know what I mean, people steal shit and like everything. Like people will just rob you if they want to rob you. How did I get bit? Oh, one of these bastards bit my toe. It's kind of weird, though. There wasn't, like, an animation for it. And, like, I knocked him down when he did it. Straight up shitter. That's annoying. Yeah, these, these crawly guys I don't like. They feel kind of extremely buggy. Uh, and it's a bite, actually. It's probably GG. Yeah. Oh, well. His bites are, like... Like, almost guaranteed to be, um, like, zombified. That's annoying. I don't really feel like there's too much I can do about that, though. So, with normal zombies, you can tell when they're, they're about ready to attack you. But, yeah. You can't even avoid their animations, which you can on a normal zombie. It looks, yeah, it looks like they always bite. So, that is GG, unfortunately. Are you dead yet, or is it just, like, you're already starting to... Uh... If you get bit... You're dead. Um, because the infection rate is something like 90%, I believe. Or something stupid. Um, ninety six percent. So it that is GG. That's annoying. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. Like, disinfecting doesn't do anything. There's no cure. Well, that's unfortunate. You didn't really get to do too, too much. Just run around. I mean, I killed a billion zombies. Which felt pretty fun. And we found a bunch of cool loot, but... Fine. How long do you have till you turn? Uh, a couple days. It's three days. Like that. It's oh, random. I've had so time. much of this shit. It's like every five seconds. You are exhausted. No, I'm not. I'm dreading leaving. Multiplayer is also kind of weird too because you, you don't sleep. Um. Like, the, it's just not coded into the game. But in all the other, uh, like in single player, of course, you have to. That changes the game quite a bit. If I next cut the leg, yeah, you can't. They didn't code it in. Which comes to, like, my big thing with Zombicide. It's a super cool game. But it's been in development for 10,000 years. And they had this big thing, like, back in the day, where there was, like, uh. Uh, our, our studio, someone broke in and stole all the laptops, and we only had one copy and no backups of the entire game file. And it's like, really? Like, really, though? That's what happened? Uh, and then after that, they went, like, months without, of course, developing anything. 
But then the big thing came out is they, they really just wanted to change to these garbage 3D models because it was a lot easier to animate. And I, I get it. But there was really pretty pixel art beforehand. Um, so there, there was a huge problem with the community because all of a sudden it's like, I get it. Like, you say that you want to shave time off, so now you're doing shit models. Then they didn't actually end up modeling anything. As you can see, we have horrible clipping here. It's been around since they started. Um, you can see I'm holding a hammer in my hand. That's a mod. Uh, pretty much all the uh, the weapons that you can visibly see are from mods. They never actually made any. And so it's like, well, that's kind of weird. But then years later, they did end up actually putting more into the game and, and putting more content and adding in more things. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I just don't understand their studio. Yeah, that's that's what they said. Yeah, it was very convenient. They got real stinky. The, the, the devs are fucking. Weird. That's all I can say. But yeah, all in all, like you know, I, I I fucking boycotted the game for a long time, even though I already, already bought it. Of course, um, that's unfortunately how it goes sometimes. I boycotted it for a long time. Wouldn't, wouldn't play it. Wouldn't talk about it. Except. The sh you know, shit on the devs uh, on occasion, but um, but then eventually, yeah, they just started actually releasing updates again. I'm like, oh wow, okay, so now there's actually all the stuff you promised you were gonna do years ago. You're finally doing. That's cool. So it's a great game with tons of potential, sure, but it's ten years old. There's nobody there making stuff for it. The devs aren't really. Doing anything more, I don't think. But the game itself is good. Um, I I will say I think like stuff like Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead is better. But the problem is Cataclysm: Dark Days Ahead um, is almost impossible to stream, and it doesn't have multiplayer. Well, multiplayer is a lot of fun, obviously. Uh, and it's very hard to stream because almost nobody can understand what's happening. It's very hard to, to teach viewers to follow it. So. Nice. Well, it does suck we die here. I'm still living, even though I'm highly anxious and partly depressed. <laughs> there. Oh, I know where I am now. Oh? Uh, yeah, end of the street where those two wrecked cars are. I can see them in the distance. Wait, you went farther south? Dude, I was chased for a good several miles. Oh, Jesus. I've just been killing them in the streets. Well, when your character is moderate to severely exhausted, it's like, mm, really can't swing that. Yeah, and all true. my melee weapons kept breaking on me. Yeah, my poor character is feeble. If only I was stronger, I could have fought them. Oh, well. <laughs> just locked himself in the garage, bench pressing the generator. Yeah. The other shit tarred thing about this game, too, is I hate games with no tooltips. And it's like, like you can look and it's like, oh, strength level four or five. What does that do? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you're never going to get enough XP to see it, but I also don't know what it does. Which is I want to know. All right, I've made it back to the garage. Nice. I'm probably unfortunately going to have to call it. Um, We're going to save to try and come back or no? Uh, I can, I'll save the world. Uh, cause this character is Fubar. Uh, it oh, sucks, shit. cause like... There's, I, I can't drop off all the good things I brought back. There's no room in these and... No! Yeah, you just have to drop her on the floor. No, no, no. I'm gonna go in the house, find the closet, something uh, before we quit. So that's not true, Onyx. Um, it could be the developer's intention for you not to fight, but... Fighting gets you experience. There is a, a zombie kill count in the game, so that sort of encourages you to. And... The thing is, running around and being stealthy works to a 
point. Um, but it it's extremely easy. Now, I didn't have a, a lot of good weapons here, um, or like I didn't have a Molotov or something. But it's extremely easy to, you know, you, you go right here, you fire off like three gunshots, you summon a few hundred zombies, hit them with a couple Molotovs, and you've just cleared out all of town. And then until events happen. And there are horde events, which are, they're not scheduled exactly, but after X number of days, give or take, they will happen. And when the hordes happen, um, you have to fight them because they come after you. And they are huge. I've seen like a 600 zombie horde once. Um, so unless you're like prepared for that. Um, but that that's more like the mid-late game. And yeah, <laughs> sorry Zeke. Um, you're not going to see me for the next couple days. For your status bubbles right now. Um, pain, anxious, something, something. Probably was hungry. Stuff like that. Sorry. Oh, dude, you should have told me about the hunger. I had about a thousand cans of food. Oh, no, waiting. like, I, we have food to eat. It was just, you know. Um, also, part of the haul I brought back, we've got an entire, entire vegetable garden ready to go. Nice. Uh, but, but, yeah, I'm going to be gone for at least one day, maybe two, because I, I do my uh, trip to Montreal, get a tattoo, come back, uh, you know, 36 hours of hell, <laughs> shenanigans, and I work tomorrow. So, um, but after that, yeah, maybe some more Zomboid, probably some more Slay the Spire. I've been really craving it. I was thinking about doing it tonight, but I was like, hey, I haven't played with Zelfus in a while. Let's see how that goes. Anyway, take it easy, nerds. I will see you tomorrow. Night, well, I folks. Won't. I lied. I want to say that. I'll see you in like I'll two, pick three it up. <laughs> oh, hey, Zelfus stream. That's hype. Mm -hmm. Take it easy.